Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for watching. My name is Fanta Sise. And, you know, I have something exciting for everyone. This is a brand new show. It's my baby. It's a show, you know, that I feel represents me and the person I am. And I want to bring on people on this show, on this platform, that will feel comfortable, that will have conversations with me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sip and Chat. This is a brand new show coming your way. Um, and obviously I have, I have to have someone that matches my energy. I have to have someone that is incredible, that is a go-getter, that doesn't give up and that keeps fighting. A beautiful woman that is full of ideas and that has been pushing the envelope. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jatu Bo. I know, I'm imaginarily clapping. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome, Thank you for having me. Of course, of course. Um, and um, congratulations to Ms. Nusha. Thank you, thank you. I am you. honored to be the first guest. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I'm so grateful that you, you honored the invitation to come because um, this is something I've wanted to do for so long. Mm -hmm. And obviously, we talked about this before. You know, sometimes you, you, just, you just feel like, should I? Is it time? Yeah. You know? You, you procrastinate a lot. A lot. Yes. A lot. But well, girl, you know whenever you call me, I'm there. And that's yes. what I love. It's the fact that I call Chatu. I'm doing this. Yeah, 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 sure. I said, okay, let's sit down and, you know, brief a little bit. Do we need to? I was like, yeah. Oh, you whenever know. You're ready. Yes, I mean, girl, you're good at this. Thank you. Remember you remember when I had you on um, 25 questions? Yes. In, in like five, ten years, I've yes. seen you doing big things. Thank and you. And this is a step towards that. And I'm definitely, proud of definitely. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I like this. Okay. I like this. Um, girl power, yo. Girl, girl power. power. Yes. Um, for those that don't know who Jatu is, please just briefly tell them who you are. My name is Jatu Mo, and um, I am the CEO of Ice Lounge, um, Ice Beauty Bar, Ice Gang Entertainment. Um, I'm in the entertainment industry, mm -hmm. hair and mm -hmm. beauty industry. Yes. I am in the movie industry. Yes. I'm everywhere. You know, she call is. me Jetsu the Hustler. Yes. And I'm um, a mother, wife, and um, sister to mm -hmm. everyone. True. <laughs> really. True. And um, basically, this is me. You know, anything that's moving forward, moving the youth forward, moving Gambia forward, I'm ready to be a part of it. Definitely. And, um, I secure my bag everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. This is Jetsu in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. Yes. I like that. I like that. You know, you said um, wife, sister, yes. and a hustler. Mm -hmm. And I like that because you have been hustling for so long. Oh, yeah. And obviously, it, it comes with these challenges. Mm -hmm. It comes with, you know, the ups and downs of it. Girl. And I, <laughs> Girl. I know. A lot of downs and ups, but yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I just want, because um, when you own Ice Lounge, mm -hmm. that was the first time there was a woman that owned a lounge. Yeah. Because the, uh, let's say, the tourist industry or the entertainment industry in the country is predominantly male. Yeah. And to have a woman come out of the woodwork like and say, you know what, I'm going to take the bull by the horn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a, a lounge or a club or whatever. Yeah. And for you to be thriving with that, I just want you to, you know, run us through that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it started with Dreams Lounge mm -hmm. before Ice Lounge. And um, from Dream Still Now, it's been five years. Mm -hmm. It has been five years of uh, blood, sweat, and tears, mm -hmm. you know, sacrifices. There's been many times that, you know, everything has been great. Mm -hmm. And it looks like, yo, the joy is never going to mm -hmm. end. And when you stand there, you see everybody so energetic, having fun, partying, and everybody just appreciates what you're doing. It feels nice. But there are times where you're like, wow, is it even worth it? Yeah. But then again, you think about it. You think about a lot of people who are sitting there looking up to you. A lot of young girls who want to be in the entertainment industry mm -hmm. or even guys that want to mm -hmm. do something but then they're so afraid or feel like they're not enough or because some females think because they're women, they can't do it. True. I feel like I have all these eyes on me. Mm -hmm. I cannot just, you know, quit. I cannot just be like, oh, it's too hard. Let me stop. Yeah. Like I will be crushing a lot of dreams when I do that. And yes. this is one of the main reasons why I have been pushing five mm -hmm. years on till today. That is, that's actually incredible. Yeah. Because I'm sure, you know, in other countries, I'm sure you'll see women that own different bars, different lounges yeah. and different things. But Gambia is such a, um, I don't know what the word is. Gambia is such a male-dominated male yeah. country, yeah. especially in the, in the um, entertainment industry mm -hmm. or in the musical, in, in that yeah. genre. It, that when a woman steps up and says, I'm going to do this, you looked at like, 
Yeah. That's the thing. A lot of guys are doing this and they've been doing it for years and they have a lot of respect. Mm -hmm. But me as a woman doing this, it's like, Kimon mm Hamon -hmm. Bopa, mm -hmm. this and that and that. You understand? Mm -hmm. So you, you get labeled a lot of things, mm -hmm. you know, and they cannot see past, oh, she's working at a club. They can't look at it as, this is a business. business. Right. This girl is employing Gambia and she's right. paying her taxes. She's mm -hmm. doing, they, can't, they can't see that. Mm -hmm. They're just looking at it as Jigeta. Yes. And she is at a club you know and and it's frustrating because you 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 don't have a nine to five at all but you have a 10 to 6 a.m mm -hmm. right and you're up all night working yep. you're hustling you're earning legit money and then you just get, get casted out like that that is it's, true it's i was so actually unfair. i was actually coming to that to say how do you deal with that because obviously this is a society that is it that's that having a woman own a lounge is foreign to oh, yeah. this is not something we know and even though we know now it's not something we accept yeah. you know some people accept some don't accept some don't. so how do you really deal with that that like i keep on league category like even club i'm key you know i just shut my ears to it because um believe it or not it hurts mm -hmm. you know when when you hear it it hurts because five years now you would think people, people would oh, get it exactly like people accept it. it but then five years now people are still like mom mom do them talk you know you can wait at club why is she in the club mm -hmm. you know why is she mm -hmm. doing this why does she have to why does she want to be like a man mm -hmm. you know so it hurts so i just shut my ears you know i just handle my business and i handle my family and that's all i do because yeah. if you want to you know feed on those listen to it be hurt you would never go forward you would not you would you know already in the club business you're working at night you're dealing with a lot of people that are hyper you know super hyped and everything True. is stressful True. So if you want to listen to all of these things, you would not go anywhere. anywhere. That is so, that is absolutely yeah. true. And obviously, you have men that are doing it, but nobody bats an eyelid at that. It's like, oh, I, I got mean, some man. They're, they're like demigods. Right? <laughs> like, oh, you know, that's good. Mom, mom, club be that everybody respects them. But me as a female, it's always like, huh, who does she think she is? Mm -hmm. I mean, why? Mm -hmm. Let's just learn to support each other. It's mm -hmm. okay if a man can do it and a woman is trying to do it. Mm -hmm. support. support the woman support. while they it's do not that. Hard. It's not support. You don't have to be in the place buying drinks or whatever. Support can be sharing a, a flyer. Support, support can, can be. be oh, I know. Uh, you know, my friend has a place. You can go check it out. Support can be all of those things. Support can be. Hey, you know what? I see what you're doing. Congratulations. Exactly. Keep pushing. Exactly. Yeah. Support can be. Oh, I, I will try and come one day. Mm -hmm. You know, and see. Oh, what do you have mm -hmm. that I do not know? Yeah. Let me tell my friends because maybe I don't even go to lounge. True. I'll tell my friends. These are all support. You don't have to be in the place to, to support. support that is you true. Understand? So let's just stop this idea of oh, this this is a girl and she should know her place. Yeah. So what is that? What is my place? Twenty one. Really? You know, we have women doing great things in the world. Yep. You know, why are we trying to, you know, stop our girls from achieving great or things? Or from dreaming beyond what the norm is. Dreaming beyond what they're boxed into belief that this exactly. is what girls can do. Exactly. You um, know, and this is the thing about Gabby. If you dare to think outside of the box, they don't know that. They don't understand that. So, so I you're like easily labeled you crazy. Then, yes. And you're crazy, you're rebellious, and you're not digging boba. Yeah. It's, 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 no, digging boba is the fastest one to, for them to label a woman that is yep. that dares to dream. Yes. Um, you know, you mentioned wife, mm -hmm. and I definitely wanted to touch on that. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot to talk about here. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, it's 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 no news that you've been married a yes. couple of times, yes. and you know, I I did say this to you before. I think one thing that I'm very very impressed with Jato is her bravery jato is way braver than me when it comes to love and i told her this yeah. i said one thing about jato is listen a heartbreak is not going to stop her from finding love mm -hmm. it's like oh i'm heartbroken today okay cool tomorrow we out there you know and she always is putting herself out there for love and like i said we know that you've been in what two marriages now yeah. before yeah. so i just wanna um before we get to what's going on right now <laughs> How did that, because there was a lot of backlash, yeah. because you definitely were with younger guys, mm -hmm. I think, yeah. and that is for him. Yeah. Even though the prophet married a woman yeah. that was 15 years older than him, yeah. but to have here in a society where you're, you're, and it's crazy because you were all in your 20s yeah. when you got married, yeah. you were just a couple of years older than <laughs> exactly. them, but it was frowned upon and yeah. it made news. Yeah. How did you deal with that? Twice. Mm -hmm. Twice. Here's the thing, Fanta. Um, like I said, if you don't, if they don't know something mm -hmm. and they fear it, they attack it. Yes. You understand? So when I got married the first time, mm -hmm. I was six years older than this guy. Yes. You understand? But we were happy. Yes. We had this amazing relationship. Yes. That everyone was like, wow, I want to have this. But at yes. the same time, they were like, the Fanyaka Fanyaka, why would she do this? Why would she do that? Why would she do that? 
would she do that, right? So um, we had an amazing relationship. Whilst I was with this guy, a lot of people who were frowning upon our relationship or trying to get it were uh, DMing him on Snapchat, adding him from my Snapchat, you wow. know, <laughs> sliding into his DMs. DMs and stuff like that. And when the marriage broke, see these those same people that were like, oh, you know, why is she with this guy? Where with him? Openly, so it's like, and also I am glad that I married that guy and he was younger because now I'm seeing people openly being in relationships with people me, they, they yes, and yeah, happy. yeah. So that means they have been falling in love with people they were probably way younger. But they were, yeah, but they, but they were always crazy. running away from it because I've had of the age message thing. Message me and tell me they had boyfriends that were younger than them and they love them to death, but they don't know how to deal with it because of society and how they're labeling them. I'm like, girl. When you die, you're alone in your grave. Facts. Do what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that I, you know, gave some people some courage to yeah. just do what they want to do mm -hmm. and what works for them. And you know, so mm -hmm. they, because of those two marriages, they be like, oh, she, she's always dating younger guys. You know, honey, like what they make out. She's a cool girl. She's yeah, a yeah. That. I'm like, okay, say whatever you want to say. I'm I happy. Do not owe you an explanation. Me, I I'm will happy. do what works for me, and it if is it working. Works for me, it works. This is it. This is <laughs> it. But this is how I deal with things because <laughs> if you want to pay attention to what everyone is saying and everything they're saying, you are never going to be happy because you would find yourself trying to please everyone mm -hmm. but yourself. That is. That is, you know, I think that is what I love. Obviously, we all have ways of dealing with these type yeah. of things. But for you to, I feel like you open the door for, for people to live freely with the people they love, regardless right. of their age gap. Right. And then that's when you realize that this is societal problems. Mm -hmm. This is not religion. Exactly. Because religion didn't say that. This is the society. So on that note, I'll just put a pin on that. We'll be right back after this break. So much more ahead with Jato. Welcome back after that break. I still have Jato here. This is the Sip and Chat. <laughs> sip and Chat with Fanta. And I have the beautiful Jato Mbo here. And we were talking about, right before the break, we were talking about her marriages, you know, how she's been able to maneuver that, the whole noise, and how she was able to move ahead. And, you know, I did want to touch on mental health. Talking about mental health i know that this is something that both jato and myself are very passionate about mm -hmm. and we've both had a fair share of it and i know that you know as strong as you are everybody has their breaking point yeah. everybody has something that affects them yeah. no matter what uh, we're viewed as all oh, strong women mm -hmm. or you know oh they don't hurt we hurt everybody hurts yeah. and when people go and attack something you love like maybe your previous marriages mm -hmm. something like that and the fact that maybe it didn't work out and it ended mm -hmm. and you had to be in a space for a while because maybe what people said maybe then it didn't affect you yeah. but it started to affect you because it didn't work exactly. out how did you deal with that and also i know that you lost your dad i'm yes. sorry and it's so crazy that we both lost our dads in august you know so I know that for me, that was a trigger yes. for my own type of depression. So I just want to know for you how that has been for you. Fanta with depression and me, we go way back. Mm. I've been falling in and out of mm -hmm. it. And here's the thing about Africans, I'm not even going to say Gambians. Africans and depression, they think it is for white people. Yeah. They think because you're strong, you have a job, mm -hmm. or you, you have money coming yeah. in the bank, you should not be depressed. Or you have a roof over your head. Exactly. Why are you depressed? Why are you depressed? Yeah. You shouldn't be depressed. You want to go to Santa mm -hmm. You're like depressed. Hey, give it, give it to Bob you. This is True. why a lot of people are depressed, and, and they, don't, they don't even know how to deal with it. They True. don't even know how to, you know, how to go about it. I am one person where my, I have a big, I'm from a big family, Same. and my family, everyone thinks that Jetu can handle the sky when it's falling she'll just stand there and, and hold like it mm -hmm. and she's strong she's mm -hmm. good we mm -hmm. don't even need to check up on her yeah. because she got it covered yeah and this is so hard when you're dealing when you're depressed and everyone is looking at you like you have to be strong all the time it kills you even more it does because then you, you, you feel like all you need is just a hug yeah are you okay yes what's going on with you someone to just listen to you mm -hmm. and not expect you to be this you know this robot and 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 because not you're not feeling. you understand so when my dad died, it, it was it was the peak of, of, of it because mm -hmm. um, I've never had panic attacks before until mm. when my dad died. Mm. And um, 
you know august has been a very crazy month because mm -hmm. my dad passed a day after my birthday mm -hmm. and i remember before my birthday this year i was having panic attacks mm. back to back to back mm -hmm. you know and i was crying i was having all these episodes you know i was scared about mm -hmm. my birthday like i didn't hype it usually on my birthday i'll be the hype yes. you know days and before actually exactly yeah. sometimes weeks before mm -hmm. i'm mean, like always coming in advance yada, yada, yada. but then this time around i'm thinking yo what if i lose someone else that is close to me you know and then it's fresh i'm starting to see these images of my dad but i did not have anyone to talk to about it about because it. everyone expected me to be good oh, you have to be over it by now it's a year <laughs> you have to move on you know you can't tell and people that's how crazy to heal. you know you can't tell people how to hurt you can't mm -hmm. tell them how to heal mm -hmm. you know time heals everything but then and even with time i really don't think with time you, you can't because um it's coming up four years since my own dad passed yeah. away and if i tell you that i have moments where nothing is wrong yeah. but i just break down and, cry. and maybe i might take a whiff of his perfume mm -hmm. or think about something yeah. and it just triggers it yeah. so you can't really tell someone or get over something yeah. or it's time or it's been years it could and be 50 you, years from now trust me and the and the and the hardest thing i'll say the dumbest thing you can tell someone oh wow you know like oh god you know i mm -hmm. oh, believe in god we know god gives and god takes but then you know especially when someone is depressed you just don't expect they don't know how to deal with what they really feeling. don't and sometimes they don't even know that that's what's happening exactly yeah they don't know how to deal with what they're feeling so at that point in time they just need someone to listen to them and be kind to them at that particular that's moment all. they don't need money they don't need nothing they just need comfort and ears to listen on mm -hmm. to, uh, to listen to them mm -hmm. that's all we need you know so we need to change our approach with people who are depressed or if we notice thinking. sometimes the people that are depressed are not, not like they don't even know yeah. if you notice there's a pattern change in someone's yes. life don't assume that exactly. you don't know what they're going ask through maybe you ask you help yeah. or you've been quiet recently what's going on is mm -hmm. everything okay yeah. they might not tell you at the first go mm -hmm. but if you continue then they feel like okay this person cares yes. then they might open up yes. it nothing is guaranteed but always be kind and always not don't think everything is about you Fanta, i want to talk about kindness a little bit mm -hmm. this is something that we need to we need to learn how to be mm -hmm. as a community mm -hmm. in Gambia in general mm -hmm. if you hear stuff about someone or you feel this person has changed towards me mm -hmm. instead of just attacking well okay they don't want anything mm -hmm. how about you ask them what is going on mm -hmm. what do you what do you do you feel i've done something to you mm -hmm. what is going on with you are you really okay? okay outside of work everything you how are you feeling mm -hmm. a lot of people a lot of the people that i know that are dealing with depression when i ask them these questions they're like did no one ever asked me this before or they might even break down at exactly, that. Exactly, at that. Yeah, you yeah. ask someone, no, how are you doing? He said, no, no, I'm good. He said, no, how are you doing? How mm -hmm. is things with you? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not talking about money, work, nothing. How, how are, are you mentally? Doing? Are you that okay? That? And they break down, they cry. Mm -hmm. so most of the time, Fanta, you see me at eyes, I'm sitting down and I'm listening to someone for hours and this person is just bawling their yeah. eyes out. It's just because I'm just there listening. Yeah. And it's sad. We need to be able to accept people when they're going through things. Mm -hmm. Listen to them and, and have this empathy. And also be in a position where even if we cannot help them create refer them to people space. also create a safe space but refer them to the people that can actually help them mm -hmm. a therapist you know i know we don't welcome this culture in the country but we do because times are changing yeah. and things are changing and people are changing and our this generation and generation z gen z are yeah. more vocal about things yeah. so we should definitely have that space for them you yeah, know yeah and um fans of depression is a, is a very wide topic because, it is you know it's it's crazy how um people are dealing with it you know sometimes you see someone um they never used to drink they never used to smoke they were a good person they're dealing with stuff they don't know how to deal with it now they start drowning in alcohol for example you're like hey keep on the fire how about instead of sitting that person now mm -hmm. asking them trying to figure out what's going trying on to figure out so now when that person opens up to you and you figure out what's going on then you can start how do you feel advising them against the alcohol and the smoking and stuff like that like a lot of people they're like Gambia mom hale ligi danyahu if you talk to these kids they're all depressed and the they anxiety panic attacks oh my god it's, it's it's a lot it's a lot that's really going on and i feel like you know we cannot finish the talk of well, mental well, health well, here well. but i just wanted to touch on it because it is something that's very dear to me yes. mental health will definitely be a part of my conversations because it is something that we need to bring awareness to it is something that i personally am very passionate about because i do have my own battles that i mm -hmm. fight you know um so definitely i just want to um 
get I, I'm glad that you know you've been in that space yeah. and you now know how did you get over it um, at yeah. least not get over it mm -hmm. how are you able to beat it every time beat it comes it every time. here's the thing um, I'm not beating it 100% I'm winging it that you know but you know <laughs> I read somewhere and it says oh depression Depression hit me and I hit it back. Yes. So I don't say depression hit me. I say I, I hit it. Yes. You know? Yes. Because it, it hits you and you hit it back. Yes. Here's the thing, Fanta. When, I, when I'm feeling depressed, I allow myself to feel it. Okay. I allow myself. I don't suppress it. I don't be like, oh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And I want to cry. Because you will cry. crash, yeah? No. If I feel like I'm going to cry over this, oh, my daddy used to drink juice like this. Oh, I miss him. And I feel like crying. I will bawl my eyes out. I don't care where I'm at. You understand? I will cry. And when I feel things, I'll just allow myself to, to feel, feel things. It. You understand? And then I find people that I, I, I feel safe with, with and just talk, vent, you know, say everything that I'm feeling, you mm. know, get up and pray and everything. And then when you allow yourself to go through those feelings, you find yourself Self coming in down. It, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so this is how I deal with it. But, you know, with other forms of things, other forms of depression, you know, like you feel like, um, uh, you need to cut some people off and stuff like that. That I am handling it very bad. Mm. Reason being, I read somewhere that when you get stabbed in the back a lot and mm. then you become hyper independent, like you feel like you don't know nobody. Yeah. And hyper independence is very bad. It is. Reason, reason being, you feel you don't need nobody. Everybody needs somebody. We all do. Right? But then you're so mad at You've everyone. You've been so hurt. You have a gigantic scissors. They do you something you're like, oh, no, second chance is. I'm cutting you off, you know, and this is where I'm at with that. You mm. understand? But you know, with um, you know, my dad and, and other, you know, healing the healing, I'm handling that very well. I'm glad. Um, no, I am not because yeah, I you have know. a gigantic <laughs> cutting people off. Like you know, that. I feel like you'll get the hang of that as well. I yes, also I you, you will definitely get the hang of that. I feel like the most important thing is to learn to be kind to yourself yes. and to learn to also honor your feelings right. like you said right. honor definitely honor your feelings. Mm -hmm. These are things that are very important. Um, right before we move, because yeah. You know, there's a couple of things that I really want to get into before we end this segment of the show. Um, you know, we, we've, we've talked about depression and everything, and I feel like emotions are high. Yeah. I want to play a game. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is one of my cute little games that I like. All right. <laughs> I like this game is called Never Have I Ever. Okay. I'm going to have a couple of questions of Never Have I Ever, and you're going to answer them for mm -hmm. me. Hmm. Never Have I Ever taking a friend's man never 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 high five <laughs> never have i ever hmm this one is tricky all right never have i ever dated a married man can i play the first <laughs> okay 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 you know i'm gonna give it to her because you know i don't you know <laughs> okay okay you know what sip on that okay. <laughs> um and never have i ever been in a three-way relationship uh never never no okay me too yeah okay i, I mean I, I would be confused because yeah. you know when i love i love hard yeah so i don't know oh you don't know love then i'm gonna love i don't know get to the point of love there like people like me you break my heart I forget it i'm not in the I'm get, like, you know here is how i see it right mm. You break my heart and I decide that you're not good enough for me again mm. and I'm moving on. That's your, your loss. Your loss. High five. That's your loss because I'm not going to be beating myself up. Oh, I'm not going to be in another relationship Ship. because so-and-so so broke, so broke my heart. So-and-so broke my heart, yeah. Your loss. Let another king you know, get this queen. I remember one time, you know, my brother said something like that. I was going through a breakup and I called him because, you know, my brother is my, you know. Yeah. And I called him and I was like, oh my God, this person did this and that. He's like, what? That's his loss. Have you seen yourself? Exactly. And that, like from then on, and this was years ago. Exactly. I obviously that that's how you know that having the right people around you is important. Yes. That's how I was like. That's how my confidence and energy is always but, like. Listen, mm -hmm. this is I am you that have queen. Guys around you who oh, empower so. you and, who and you know just boost your confidence. Who really because, good? Because um, another female would have been like, oh, okay, what is the no, 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 no. Nee, 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 nee. But a guy would be like. Sis, have you seen yourself? Have you looked in the mirror? That was my You're brother for me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I have a lot of guys like that for yeah. me. And yeah. this is why I handle things so cool when it comes to guys. Because, I mean, when I love, I love. I give you 110%. I see that. So if you don't accept I think Gambia be upset in it, Lulu. Mm -hmm. The way Jato loves. Listen, I aspire. Let me tell you guys. Face me. Look at me. <laughs> I aspire 
to love like Jatu exactly. does. And you know, this is not even a joke. This is in real life. Uh -huh. Jatu is, I look at her like J-Lo. And I told her this. Jatu is like the J-Lo of Gambia. Have you seen Jennifer Lopez? Break her heart today. Next week, oh, she has yeah. a new man. Because it's your loss, honey. Because it is their loss. And that's how, that's the spirit I like with Jatu. It's always, listen, I'm not going to he be here and sulk. And I will take the time I need to heal for sure. Yes. But if another white guy comes, I would not say no. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? And I think that is something we need to... I'm speaking to myself, guys. Yeah. I mean, I was like, just imagine. I was like, oh, no, I've been married before. I'm not going to fall in love No. I've been married before. I'm not, I'm not going to marry again. again. I wouldn't be married to my king right now. You know, we need oh. to talk about that. Okay, guys. <laughs> we need to talk about... Listen, congratulations to Jatu. Jatu has married a great guy. Oh, great and guy. I say on her birthday, <laughs> on every year now, Jatu will be celebrating her anniversary and her birthday. Right. Do you understand how fantastic that is? Mm -hmm. That's like, how much do you love this me to marry me? Good. I was about to say that. You know, and you know one thing I'm happy about. I actually know this guy. So, and I like him because he's, he's a king. Mm -hmm. He likes to take care of his woman. And he's done that. Do you not see how this woman is glowing? Let's talk about that briefly right before we wrap up. Because, you know, I, wanna, I want to end the show on a high note. I know, right? I definitely do. And this queen just got married again. This is the definition of fearless when it comes to love. And I applaud you for that. Thank you. I love how you love. And I love how... And also something I've noticed this time around, mm -hmm. you've been extremely private about it. Yes. Extremely. If you know Jatu, Jatu, so fall in, in love. Let me go with a message. Jatu, you're in love? No, yes, I'm very much in love. I'll be posting She'll be posting <laughs> That's hand on. No, no, no. She'll start, the posting will start with the hands. With the hands. She'll start posting <laughs> the hands and then you know she'll post the shoe or the shirt. <laughs> this time, this girl hasn't done anything like Nothing, that. No. She has been so but low key. They're, they're Watch yeah, they have. You know what? You know, I take it back. <laughs> They've seen his watch. The people that do not know him, yeah. they have seen his watch, his watch. a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And but definitely, I two things: how you've been extremely private about this relationship, yeah. and the fact that you got married. People, some people still don't know. Still don't know, yeah. And how you met your husband. These are my questions. Uh, we met on Snapchat. Okay. Um, back when I was in Dubai last year, October. Okay. You know, fun time. If I tell you this story, you are gonna laugh. He okay. messaged me. On Snapchat, and he was like, Miss, are you married? Because I like you. And then I lied. I wasn't married then. I was like, Yes, yes I'm, I'm married. married. Okay, if that guy messed up, hit me up. What? Like, okay, who is this guy? Right, like, right. Yeah, you know, me and my crazy, I was like, I gotta know this guy. So we, I, I added him back, and then we started talking. You know, he was like, You're gonna be my wife someday. We're gonna have some kids. You know, he's been saying that. I was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. You know, so, um, fast forward to January, February when they came to Gambia and you know, we finally, we finally met after two weeks that he was here. Oh, I wow. met him when he came to Gambia to after two weeks and then we finally met and mm -hmm. then he kept saying that, you know, I'll marry you, right? And I thought he was joking and then... Here you are. <laughs> you know, how yeah. did you get to the point of him marrying you on your birthday though? Uh, well, I guess he knew how depressed I was a week before my birthday because right. I was going through a lot, you know, I was, um... You know the Snapchat memories. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Of, you know, and all of that. It's taking you back. Yeah, we were we were talking about it, you know, and then he he told me everything is gonna be alright, and I posted something about my dad um, when I made him wear the. World's I saw so world's best dad. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And he was like, if your dad didn't hesitate to wear that, I wouldn't hesitate to wear that either. Aww. You know, and two days later he came. Nyan bulu gaya ni make. Ah, isi bulu nyan. Nyan jabat ni make Just like that. Just like that. But my family love this guy, yo. You know, so they, he's, he's a nice guy. I'm not even gonna he fun. Is. He's a very nice guy. He's 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 a he's a kingy guy, you know. So you did good, girl. You did good, girl. You did good, girl. You, I'm very how no 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 before we, before we get up because you know I like I like what what my family calls gist. I like yeah, gist. gist. I like to know the nitty gritty of things. Okay. How are you able to for someone that's so public about her love? How are you able to? keep this hush hush i mean you've been no. married now over a week yeah and everything is hush hush people still yeah, don't know well still now they'll know I'm, I'm posting a little bit you know some photos and stuff like that mm -hmm. others are like okay can we see the guy now i'm yeah. like no yeah you know <laughs> maybe after two years yes you know and maybe never you yeah. never know um but here's the thing i've learned my lesson mm -hmm. 
because um you know like i said snapchat you know you post you tag your husband and then they're sliding into his DM. Yep. girl i got a king i'm not worried about that at all because i know people that seen us together are already trying to slide into his dms and stuff like that but it's okay he's handling it he's handling his thing That's okay cool. you okay know, i'm not worried about it okay okay but I'm not gonna give them that opportunity to to be able to insert themselves in, in your situation. Yeah, exactly. Especially when it comes to um, social media. Because yeah. when you post, it's dangerous. When I was married the day I got married, I did not post nothing about. I remember my wedding day until two days later. I posted a picture. I did not even say anything. I said it's a dress for me because mm -hmm. I love the dress. Mm -hmm. That's what I said, right? So everyone is going crazy. Oh, she got married. She did not tell me. Yet. I do not. I just don't want that involvement mm -hmm. with social media inside my my my. my I think for me that is my biggest fear which is why I'm very careful about my social yeah. media it's like they say that but what's in the heart is in what heart, God exactly. knows so it's not what you're telling me is what's in and your heart Fanta, let me tell you something about the evil eye and the tongue real real as they it's come the it's in the Quran. Quran it's in the Quran real as they come if you don't believe it, it's on you. <laughs> yeah, but, it, but it's, it's there. Really real. So this is why I am protecting. I'm at this stage in my life where I'm protecting my mental health. Right? As you should. Okay, so I'm protecting my family. I'm protecting my energy. I'm protecting put things I put on social media. Mm -hmm. Even with eyes, it doesn't matter if it's empty or it's full. I'm not going to post, post it, it anymore. I don't want that. Again, you understand? I'm trying to protect what I have now. Like, I'm yeah, good. I right? love that. I'm I love good. that. I love that so for especially you. Especially in my marriage. No, because here's what they do. Now they will not even screenshot. They will take another phone and record, you know, and then they will start talking about it. So you young get talk, young get say, say, you feeling like, you know, everything, everything is, is good. good. <laughs> That's true. I have learned. <laughs> I love that. I love that. On that note, <laughs> like congratulations on your marriage. You. I wish you the absolute best. Thank I'm very happy for you. I wish you so many beautiful babies Thank because you. I know they'll be tall and beautiful. You know, so I'm very proud of you. Thank and like, like, what are the last things? To, what is what is one thing that you have going on right now that you want to put out there before we wrap up? Um, for now, you know, I would just I'm I'm looking at other things to get into. But okay. To be honest, Fanta. The club business is tiring. It is. You know, it, Don't give up now. No, no, no. The giving up is not an option. But okay. It's something I want to shift my attention, attention to. Attention to other. Okay. You know, a little bit. So I'm looking into other business ventures. I mean, obviously, when it's here, I'll talk about it. Good. But then, you know, I'm, 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 I'm getting tired of it. You know, I know. So, but I, I'm also glad that I've trained a lot of people. Who that can handle it if you move your yeah, attention exactly, to something exactly. else. Yeah. So I'm definitely looking at other businesses. Okay. Inshallah by January, February. I like that. I like that. I'm very proud of you. I'm very happy Thank for you. Thank you so much for coming on my show and for being my first guest. I appreciate that. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the show. With there's so much, so much more I have in store for you on the Sip and Chat with Fanta. And I am extremely happy that you're on this journey with me. Stay tuned because this is just the beginning. Thank you very much to Jetu for being my guest and for being such a great sport and for playing that Never Have I Ever game. Because I know people will be like, what? <laughs> But I'm trying to bring new things into my show. I'm trying to bring fun things into my show. I'm trying to change the narrative. And I hope you come on this journey with me. My name is Fantasy. Thank you for being a part of the Sip and Chat. Till next week. Bye-bye.